हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर एट ग्वालियर फोर्ट This is one of the must visit destinations in Gwalior. जो भी Gwalior आता है उसको Gwalior Fort में आना एकदम compulsory, mandatory है बिना यहाँ की visit के आपका Gwalior visit पूरा नहीं होता है Gwalior Fort is a hill fort near Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh, India. Gwalior Fort is an extremely significant and a must visit destination. Fort has existed at least since the beginning of the 6th century. So it is a really really old fort and was under the control of many dynasties. The fort was built by a local king named Surat Sen also known as Sarvarkar Rajput in 3 CE whose 83 descendants ruled the fort. From the 11th century onwards the Muslim dynasties attacked the fort several times in 1398 the fort came under the control of the Tomars it was Man Singh Tomar who constructed the Man Singh Mandir rulers like Qutbuddin Aybak Iltutmish Ibrahim Lodi Babur Sher Shah Suri Akbar Hemu and the British all have fought battles for this fort It was a very important strategic fort in central India. Coming back to the present day, you must allocate if not a day then at least half a day here. Open throughout the year. Best time to visit is during winters from the month of November to April. There are two ways to reach the top of the fort. One is a walking path which starts from the Gujri Mahal. And the other is a motorable road which is the main way. both ways have their own charm the fort has multiple destinations and you will need to walk a lot so wear comfortable shoes carry a bottle of water as well and a cap if it's sunny when you are reaching the fort in your car you can see the idols on the gopanchal hill the gopanchal hill houses more than 1500 idols The idols are said to be carved during the reign of Kirti Singh and Dungar Singh of the Tomar dynasty. One such idol of Bhagwan Parshavnath stands at an imposing 42 feet height. Many such idols were destroyed by the Mughal emperors when they captured the fort. It is recommended that you hire a guide which are easily available near the parking area so that you can learn about the history of the fort. A very important tip which will save you time. There are two tickets that you need to visit the fort. One for the combination of Man Singh Palace, Saaz Bahu Temple and Teli Ka Mandir. This one you can buy online at the link shown in the video. If you wish to take a camera inside, you will need to purchase a ticket for the camera as well. The other ticket is for 10 rupees per person which you can buy by paying cash only at the counter which is after the Man Singh Palace for the entry to the fort compound that houses Jawhar Kund. Once you have the online ticket The recommended itinerary is you visit Teli Ka Mandir first then Gurudwara then Saaz Bahu Temple all the three would take you around 45 minutes to 2 hours then you can proceed toward Man Singh Palace and the rest of the fort The Teli Ka Mandir is the most famous of all temples within the Gwalior fort The 
This temple was built in the Dravidian architectural style and is notable for its generously sculpted exterior. The temple is the oldest part of the fort and houses Buddhist architectural elements as well. The Telika Mandir was originally dedicated to Vishnu which was destroyed during a Mughal invasion and later restored into a Shiva temple. But there is no worship done in these temples. Gurudwara Datta Bandi Chor was built during 1970s at the place where the 6th Guru Hargobind Singh was arrested and held captive by the Mughal Emperor Jahangir in 1609. 52 Rajas who were imprisoned in the fort for opposing the Mughal Empire were dismayed as they were losing a spiritual mentor. On getting released, Guru Hargobind requested the Rajas to be freed along with him as well. Jahangir allowed Guru Hargobind to free as many Rajas he could as long as they are holding on to the Guru while leaving the prison. Guru Sahib got a special gown staged which had 52 hems. As Guru Hargobind left the fort, all the captive kings caught the hems of the cloak and came out along with him. Sasbahu Temple these are basically two pillar temples that stand next to each other, one larger than the other. Originally, there was only one temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu. In 1527, Babur's army attacked Kualeo Fort and defaced all the statues. This temple was frequently visited by the queens of Kachapakatas. Later, another temple dedicated to Lord Shiva was built next to this temple, so that the daughter-in-law of the king, who was an ardent Shiva devotee, could worship her favorite deity. Since the temples were visited by the queen and her daughter-in-law, the pillared temples were collectively known as the Sasbahu Temple. Singh Palace Built by Raja Man Singh Tomar in the 15th century, Man Singh Palace served as the main residence of ruler of the Tomar dynasty for a long period of time. Tile tiles of various colors including turquoise, green and yellow are used to decorate the interiors of the palace. The exteriors have rich colors which make this palace the most decorated palace of the Gwalior Fort. The palace has two open courtyards bordered by apartments on two floors. This four-storied palace has large rooms wherein some were venues for musical concerts, the other were for the royal ladies to sit and enjoy music. This is one of the few palaces which is completely built in a Hindu style and without any Mughal influence. There are a lot of stairs to take you to various levels in the palace. There is a unique communication system to talk between floors by using hollow pipe. 
there are two underground or basement floors with circular cells. They were later used as prisons when Mughals controlled the fort. Kualia Fort is also the place where Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi fought the British and it is here that she breathed her last after fighting ferociously for a British free India. Further, after the Mansingh Palace lies structures built by various rulers and all these places are spread over a large area. Places like Vikram Mahal, Karn Mahal, Jahangir Mahal and Shah Jahan Mahal are worth looking at. This part of the fort has lot of areas where you can walk and experience how the earlier kings would have lived here. और ये एक beautiful जगह है यहाँ पे बहुत सारे छोटे 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 तो नहीं कहूँगा मैं लेकिन कई सब venues हैं यहाँ पे ऐसा नहीं है गोले fort एक छोट एक जगह है you should plan at least if not full day then must must to say that you have to have half day visit here नहीं तो आपका गोले visit पूरा नहीं होगा Vikram Mahal was originally built as a temple dedicated to Lord Shiva by Vikramaditya Singh of the Tomar dynasty. The palace was restored after it was destroyed by the Mughal emperors during their reign. This palace is named after the king who built it. Karn Mahal served as the private residence of Kirti Singh who was also known as Karn Singh. He was the second king of the Tomar dynasty. Chhatri of Bhim Singh Rana This impressive domed shaped pavilion was built by Chhatra Singh the successor to Bhim Singh Rana as a memorial to his father There is an artificial lake next to the pavilion which was also built by Chhatra Singh This lake is also known as Jauhar Kund. It is a place of great historical importance. Jauhar means suicide to save one's honor. This is the place where Rajput wives practice Jauhar by jumping into the pond or by self-immolation during the attacks on Gwalior to save themselves from the barbaric acts of cruel Mughal rulers like Iltutmish. The 
This is the largest area of the fort and as they were residences, they are well preserved. You can walk and explore everywhere. Further, you can also go to the rooftop and enjoy the view of the Gwalior city below. You can also see the beautiful Gujri Mahal from here. Gujri Mahal This too was built by Raja Man Singh Tomar for his beautiful wife Mrigneni, a Guja princess. Now the palace has been converted into a museum which houses rare artifacts and sculptures of Hindu and Jain deities dating back to the 1st and 2nd centuries BC. Open from 10 am every day, this is also a must visit place for its beauty and historical artifacts. Hope you have subscribed, do keep watching The Guiding Factor. to subscribe to TGF and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications.